How to use Zero for beginners, Zero accounting software tutorial. Hi there, you guys. In this video, I'll be talking about Zero right here and how you can start using its services. So, for those of you who are unaware, um, Zero is an online accounting software designed for small businesses. So, if you're new to Zero, then this video is going to be for you. So, you guys, I have here some uh, uh, four steps that you essentially need to set up before um, starting to use your Zero account. And of course, um, I will be mentioning additional um, setup settings or yeah, additional setup that you that you need to do. So, but first thing that you have to set up is of course your organization details. So you can do that right here. Uh, um, you can do that by going to the organization settings and then set up organization details on your um, zero account. If you have a limited company, ensure that you have a registration number and registered office address. So this information needs to be displayed on any invoices you issue. So like what I said, go to settings and then organization settings to input or update your business contact details so this is what you can edit including the display name legal or trading name the logo um the your name of business the organization type business registration number and of course you can also change your contact details or edit them like your postal address your physical address the telephone your email and website now once you're done setting up your organization details next thing that you'll have to set up is of course your financial settings now go to settings and then go to advanced settings and then go to financial settings right here to enter your company details Financial year end, this will ensure you to have the right year end for your sales or tax or details, that scheme or flat cash or accrual rate, VAT number, and VAT period. You can just go ahead and save it or cancel. Next is, of course, adding your company's branding. So you can set up your invoices with terms of payment, contract, and logo. To set up various branding schemes, go to settings, your invoice settings. Now, nailing down your terms of payment can help you to improve your cash flow. So having shorter payment terms can help you get better. Right here, payment services, invoice reminders. And then you can tick this on if you want to, email customers when an invoice is. 7 days overdue, 14 days overdue, 21 days overdue. So, um, seven multiple of 7. 7, 14, 21. So, you can also take this additional options on or off if you want to. You can choose to include quick link to online invoice and detailed summary. Or you can include a link to the invoice PDF. Or you can opt to not send reminders for amounts owing on an invoice under what amount. Next thing that you can do is, of course, to set up your chart and account. So, you guys, if you are switching from another accounting software, then you can import your chart of accounts into zero or modify the default chart of accounts. So, if you have an accountant, you can seek their help with this decision. However, if you are your own bookkeeper, then we recommend, I recommend using Zero's default chart of accounts. You can add, customize, or delete these accounts to match the needs of your business. Now to make changes to your accounts, go to accounting, go to chart accounts. Now that's it. All right, now we're done setting up this four basic things, which is your organization details, your financial settings, of course, your invoice reminders or your branding and your chart accounts. And I'll just mention a few, uh, a few tips, like uh, you need to set up your bank account feed, you guys. Now, the next step is to set up your bank account feeds, including credit card and PayPal accounts. If you have them, you go ahead and set them 
up using your profile right over here. Next is to reconcile often. Zero makes bank reconciliation easier than ever. So just a few minutes a week spent approving pre-matched items ensures your data is up to date. So as zero is connected to your bank, transactions are pulled through automatically. Zero remembers the last time you can categorize a transaction, so you can simply click OK if you want it to go this uh, to go to the same category. You should reconcile weekly, you guys, if not daily. Ensure that your accounts are as accurate as possible. Regularly updated invoices give you a clearer picture of um of cash flow so with a clear picture of your cash comes the ability to make better business decisions and avoid failing behind on outstanding payments another benefit of regular reconciliation is that you'll be able to use zero add-on apps much more easily as your data will be up to date right now let's talk about the pricing plans of zero before i end this video um, it starts with 22, 35, and then 35, and then 47. The most popular plan is, of course, the standard plan, which is $35 a month. You can do a couple of things with 22 a month, like sending codes and 20 invoices, enter five bills, reconcile bank transactions, capture bills and receipts with HubDoc, short term cash flow, and business snapshot. What else you can do? All of these, of course, in standard, except to use multiple currencies. And for premium, you'll have to, yeah, yeah, short term cash flow and business snapshot. I'm sorry, you cannot use multiple currencies here on standard, by the way, but on premium, you can um, use both of these two platforms. I mean, this two features. You can use multiple currencies, you can bulk reconcile transactions. Or premium, but this one's the, mo the most popular. So you can just uh, go ahead and choose which one do you need among these three plan. But I think personally, um, starter is already good. But if you have a couple of dollars to spend, might as well try standard. All right. Okay. Final thoughts about accounting. Uh, I mean, I mean about zero. Um, it's it's a good platform, you guys, especially that. Uh, it lets you set up all the basic stuff um, before you can actually do something with it. Um, it's a constant reminder for you to check your information before you start working with it. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope this video helped. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. But I will see you again on the next one. Peace out.